Hi everyone, welcome and thank you so much for joining me. This is Heather Lloyd Martin and I'm CEO of SuccessWorks SEO Copywriting. Today I want to talk about a topic that is very timely since Matt Cutts has come out and said that the next Penguin update is going to be jarring and that is to how to stop worrying about Google updates and start writing really great SEO copy. The thing is around the Google updates and all the the stress that comes with them is that that fear is really counterproductive. And what it does is causes a lot of companies to get stuck in this learn helplessness trap. They don't know what Google is going to do next, and so they use that as an excuse to stop writing content. And they completely freak out within the organization. But instead of being all fearful about what Google is going to do next, think of what's going on as an opportunity. Good content is still good for Google. I know that it's not sexy news, but there are a number of sites out there that never got penalized by either Panda or Penguin. They came through those just fine. That could be you. The key is to focus on what your customers and readers are looking for and stop focusing so much on what you think Google might want. So think of ways you can focus on making your content better and this will help you ride through those algorithmic updates. So look at what you've got on the site now. Think of ways to expand your content, like what questions do our prospects or customers ask? Do we answer them on the site? That's a great way to be able to get folks to come to your site that might not know anything about you. You might also want to ask, does our content really represent our company? I've talked to a number of people who say, yeah, we don't really love the content that's there. It doesn't really sound like us, but it's what we have, so we're stuck with it. No, you're not stuck with it. If it doesn't represent your company, then change it. And you can either do that in-house and write that quality content within your organization, or if you are maxed out internally and that's not an option, then outsource it. Find someone that you can trust to work with. And last week I talked about how to find an SEO copywriter. You might also want to evaluate your site and see if you have low quality content that you need to fix. And on the lower left hand side of the slide, uh, there is a link and this is an article written by Jill Whalen about other types of low quality content. Uh, things that you might want to evaluate on your own site to see if it's something that you might want to tweak. You also want to look at your analytics. Think of ways to increase your conversion rates. I mean, wouldn't it be better to focus on how can we drive more sales and think of ways that you're able to do so rather than, oh my goodness, what is Google going to do next? Because at the end of the day, Google does not pay your bills. Your customers do. So if you can figure out how you, your content can make your site more money, that is a much better discussion to have than, oh my goodness, what is the next update going to do to our site? So definitely focus your content around your readers and when the next update comes, then you are probably going to be much more relaxed about it because you're coming at it from a different angle than trying to tweak your content to fit what you think Google wants today. So if you have any questions about what does Google want and you're looking for a checklist of how to evaluate your content, you might want to check out my free How to Write for Google White Paper. Uh, you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter or receive daily updates at seocopywriting.com. And of course, if you have any questions at all or you're interested in the SEO copywriting certification training, please let me know. I'm happy to help. You can reach me at heather at seocopywriting.com or on Twitter at, at Heather Lloyd. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care and have a great day.